Be good kids. Take them away. The seventh phonon hyper resonance came from the direction of the capital of Kimloska Landvoldir and converged inside Malkuth territory near Tataru Valley. Now, if you two were the source of that hyper resonance, that would make you guilty of illegally crossing the border into our country, wouldn't it? Jeez, you're obnoxious. <laughs> he called you obnoxious. I'm terribly hurt. But moving on, Tyr. We already know you're with the Oracle Knights. But what about you, Luke? What's your full name? Luke von Fabre. I'm the Luke you idiots tried to kidnap. The son of Duke Fabre, who married into the Kimloskan royal family? A Duke? Oh! Why are you in Malkuth? And what's this about a kidnapping? That doesn't sound very pleasant. We're here only because our seventh phonons caused a hyper-resonance. It wasn't an act of aggression against Malkuth by House Fabra. Colonel, I believe Tyr is telling the truth. I don't feel any hostility from him. Yes, it does seem he's lived a sheltered life, completely ignorant of the world outside. Huh, fine. Make fun of me. Actually, why don't we ask for their help? We're headed for Kimloska under orders from His Majesty Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. To declare war? Wait, what? Are you saying a war's gonna start? You've got it backwards, Luke. We're trying to prevent a war from breaking out. Annis, that's not public information. Trying to prevent a war? Are relations between Kimlaska and Malkuth really that bad? I think you're the only one who doesn't know. You know, you're obnoxious too. We're going to release you now. I'll grant you permission to enter any area you wish, apart from those containing military secrets. First, learn a little about us. Then if you feel you can trust us, we'd like to ask your help. So that we might prevent this war. If you want us to help you, why don't you just tell us what's going on? If we were to explain and then you decided not to cooperate with us, we would be forced to hold you captive. What? This matter is a state secret. That's why I'm urging you to make up your mind first. I hope we have your understanding. I'm sure they'll tell you the details after you agree to help. I'll be waiting. Luke, I'd so love to go places with you. Please come talk to me if you're willing to assist the Colonel. Why don't we take a walk around the ship? I think even you'll start to get an idea of what's going on in the world. Let's go exploring, Master! Uh. localized conflicts have broken out recently. It's likely those will soon escalate into full-scale war. After all, the truce for the hard war is only 15 years old. Emperor Peony has written a letter proposing a formal peace treaty. They requested my aid as a neutral ambassador. If that's the case, then why do people think you've gone missing? Master Van went looking for you, you know. That's due to matters within the Order of Lorelei. A conflict is unfolding between the reformist phone master faction centered around Ion and the conservative Grand Maestro faction centered around Grand Maestro Mose. Mose is looking for a war. I managed to escape from Mose custody with the help of the Malkuth military. Phone master Ion, there must be some mistake. Grand Maestro Mose would never desire such a thing. Mose prays only for the fulfillment of the score. Here, you're with the Grand Maestro faction? No way. I'm neutral. Yulia's score is important, but so are the Phone Master's wishes. 
Hey guys, hello. You want to slow down so I can follow? My apologies. I'd forgotten the young master here hasn't a clue about the world around him. What did you say? Regardless of the state of affairs within the Order, I must deliver this letter to Kamlaska. But we are the soldiers of an enemy nation. Even as emissaries of peace, it won't be easy for us to cross the border. If we delay, the Grand Maestro faction will catch up with us and interfere. That is why we need your help. Well, really, we just need your social status. Oh, I'm hurt, Gramps. Is that all I'm good for? And didn't anyone ever teach you to bow your head in respect when asking someone for a favor? Don't act like that, Luke. You don't want a war either, do you? Would you shut up already? <sighs> Commander. Master Luke, please grant us your aid. Man, do you have any pride? None so cheap as to be shaken by something as petty as this, sir. Fine, whatever. You just need me to talk to my uncle, right? You have my deepest gratitude. Now, by your leave, Master Luke, I must attend to other matters. Stop calling me Master. Coming from you, it's just wrong. As you wish, Master Luke. She was neutral, remember? Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. Many Oracle Knights do side with the Grand Maestro faction. You're so nice, Tyr. Oh, thank you. It's a phone stone. They're making it glow by heating it. They must use it for lighting here. Phone stones are those glass rocks floating up in the sky, right? Phone stones are sacred stones created when the score is red. Don't call them glass. All right, all right. Yes, do you need something? Are we under attack? Oh no! Luke, what should we do? Bridge, what's going on? A large flock of griffins 20 kilometers ahead! Total number unknown! Contact in approximately 10 minutes! Come in! Requesting permission to open fire with all cannons! You're the captain. The ship is yours. Understood, sir. Large swarm of monsters 20 kilometers ahead! All hands, battle stations! Repeat! All hands! Battle stations! You three, return to your cabin. Huh? It's just some monsters. Griffins don't normally work in groups. It's dangerous when monsters act unusually. What's wrong? Ligers are dropping from the Griffins! They're clinging to the hull and attacking! Engineering is... Ah! Bridge, respond. 